Hey viewers, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to this YouTube channel Meer Academy. I hope that you all are fine. Well, this is Hamza Meer and I'm coming back with another video from our topic of history O levels. So before we start, let's see that what exactly our today's topic is all about. Well, we was, here we have the very first content right there on the screen, which is Lucknow Pact of 1916. Or this video ke andar hum basically two questions ko go through karenge. Usme se the first one is Lucknow Pact, that what was exactly Lucknow Pact, which is a four marks. Or dusra question jo hoga in upcoming slide that would be of a seven mark question, which is that why this pact was signed. So I'll start over here with the four mark question, and I'll tell you that what exactly you need to write. in this question so let's start with the very first content the first thing that you have to add in this four mark question would be that it was an agreement between muslim league and congress and which was basically signed in 1916 aur yahan pe ek aur cheez main add up karta chalu ke jo janah the he was the person who already working in the congress aur 1913 mein unhone muslim league ko join kiya tha it means in 1916 he was a part of both the political parties inc as well as ml to ye uske 3 saal ke baad ka agreement hai which jina brought aur ye year jo hai 1916 it also comes in between the world war 1 which already has been started in 1914 so let's see that what other content that we need to write in this homa question the second one that we need to add over here would be that mainly in this pact it was jana who led muslim league or on the other side inc ko jinhone lead kiya tha that was mahajan as you, as you could see the picture right on the screen that would be the second content that you might add in this answer uske baad jo next cheez aapne yahan pe mention karni hai wo hai acceptance of separate electorate as well as the one third seats in the council by inc now as you know that in our previous video of shimla deputation hum logo ne discuss kiya tha ki jo muslims hain they got the separate electorate as well as the one third seat in the council by lord minto aur us waqt inc ne isko undemocratic call karke deny kiya tha reject kiya tha but this time the inc was agreed to accept both these demand by muslims so this would be your third point in the answer कि ये दोनों डिमांड्स आईएनसी ने कांग्रेस ने एक्सेप्ट कर ली थी मुस्लिम्स की जिनको उन्होंने ऑलरेडी अनडेमोक्रेटिक डिक्लेयर किया था अनदर थिंग दैट यू नीड टू ऐड ओवर हियर वुड बी दैट लेटर ऑन दे बोथ बोथ द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज दे पुट फॉरवर्ड द जॉइंट डिमांड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ ब्रिटिश वो डिमांड्स क्या थी दैट यू नीड टू ऐड ओवर हियर एज वेल एंड दैट वुड बी द मोर सीट्स इन द काउंसिल प्रोविंशियल ऑटोनॉमी as well as the protection of minorities ye teen demands collective demands in dono political parties ne british ke samne rakhi aur last pe ek aur cheez jo aap yahan pe end up karenge wo hoga jina ka contribution if you need to add up that point as well because jina was the one who has been given the title of ambassador of peace just because of his contribution to bring these two political parties closer to each other and make them united so this would be your content in your four mark question that would be enough to gain four marks that's the first thing now let's move towards the next question we have so viewers here we have the second question of the same topic that is on the screen why lucknow pact was signed which is a seven mark question and as we know that we need to write three paragraph in a seven mark question so here we have the very first paragraph in this slide let's see what we need to write in that starting from the very first content as i've discussed earlier in the previous slide of a four mark question maine bataya tha ke jina was the one who already was working in congress and he joined ml in 1913 and he was working for both the political parties in the same year when this pact was signed so jo sabse pehli cheez hame yahan pe mention karni hai wo yahi mention karni hai 
कि जिना जो थे उन्होंने एम को 1913 में ज्वाइन किया और ज्वाइन करने के बाद द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट ही डिड दैट ही बेसिकली चेंज द पॉलिसी ऑफ मुस्लिम लीग विच मीन्स दैट के ही कन्विंस्ड मुस्लिम लीग टू डिमांड फॉर द सेल्फ रूल एज इंडियंस द हिंदूज एक्चुअली व आस्किंग द सेल्फ रूल ऑलरेडी सो जिना वॉज द वन हु कन्विंस्ड मुस्लिम लीग के वो अपनी पॉलिसी को चेंज करें और सेल्फ रूल की डिमांड करें दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी नीड टू राइट उसके बाद अनदर थिंग दैट वी नीड टू एड हुआ हेयर वॉज दैट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द चेंज इन पॉलिसी ऑफ मुस्लिम लीग ब्रॉट बाय जिना इट ब्रॉट दीज टू पोलिटिकल पार्टीज closer to each other inc and muslim league for the first time they became closer to work together against the british ye cheez humne yahan pe add karni hai aur ek aur cheez jo hum yahan pe add up karenge wo ye hai ke both the political parties they asked for the constitutional reforms jointly as i said earlier in a four mark question ke collective demands british ke samne rakhi gayi thi after the inc accepted the demands of muslims which was separate electorate and one third seats in the council so jo kathi aur joint demands british ke samne rakhi gayi thi unme se as i said earlier ke ek to council ki demand thi seats in the council uske alawa provincial autonomy aur rights of the minorities jo ke obviously muslims ke side se tha to yahan pe pehle paragraph ke last pe we need to add ke in dono political parties mein कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म्स की डिमांड ज्वाइंटली ब्रिटिश के सामने रखी थी सो दिस वुड बी द वेरी फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ दैट यू नीड टू एड ओवर हियर इन अ सेवन मार्क क्वेश्चन सो व्यूज लेट स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड पैराग्राफ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेवन मार्क्स लेट सी के इस सेकेंड पैराग्राफ के अंदर कौन सा कॉन्टेंट है जो आपने एड करना है सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव हेयर इज बेसिकली द राइट्स विच वर बींग नॉट बींग गिवन टू द इंडियंस अंटिल 1914 इसको मैं अगर थोड़ा सा एलेबरेट करूं तो इफ यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज अर्लियर जिस तरह हमने मॉडल मेटो रिफॉर्म्स की एक वीडियो जो थी वो बनाई थी जिसमें 1909 के अंदर वो रिफॉर्म्स मेनली आई के लिए लाए गए थे आफ्टर द पार्टीशन ऑफ बंगाल टू पैसिफाई दैम और उन रिफॉर्म्स को एज वी हैव सीन के उसको रिजेक्ट कर दिया गया था उसके बाद द नाइनटीन इलेवन इंसिडेंट रिवर्सल ऑफ पार्टीशन ऑफ बंगाल जिसकी वजह से द ब्रिटिश द लॉस द ट्रस्ट ऑफ द मुस्लिम्स एंड एज ए साइड अर्लियर के नाइनटीन फोर्टीन इज अ ईयर जिसमें वर्ल्ड वॉर वन स्टार्ट हुई थी और उसके कुछ अरसे के बाद यानी कि 1916 के अंदर ये एग्रीमेंट साइंड हुआ था तो इस टाइम पे दोनों पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज जो थी दे वर नॉट हैप्पी विद द ब्रिटिश बिकॉज ब्रिटिश जो थे दे वर अनेबल टू गिव देम राइट्स अनटिल 1914 जो राइट्स वो एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे वो उनको नहीं मिले द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू एड ओवर वुड बी दिस वन इसके अलावा अनदर रीजन विच ब्रॉड दीज टू पोलिटिकल पार्टीज क्लोजर टू ईच अदर वॉज द अप्रेसिव पॉलिसीज ऑफ ब्रिटिश इन वर्ल्ड वॉर वन As you could see that there is a picture, actually two pictures which has been given over here, जिनमें से एक सिल्क लेटर मूवमेंट है एज यू नो दैट के एक फोर मार्क क्वेश्चन है जो हमें आता है एग्जाम में दैट इज द सिल्क लेटर कॉन्स्पिरसी विच इज बीन स्टार्टेड बाई द दियोबंदी सेक्रेटेरियन ग्रुप ऑफ द सुन्नी सेक्ट और इसको हम कभी अपनी अपकमिंग वीडियो में डिटेल के साथ डिस्कस करेंगे कि सिल्क लेटर कॉन्स्पिरसी क्या थी उसके अलावा देर वर सर्डन अदर इंसिडेंट दैट हैपन ड्यूरिंग द वर्ल्ड वॉर वन जिसमें द अपराइजिंग ऑफ सिंगापुर थी लाला हरदयाल एट्सेट्रा जो मेनली पॉलिसीज ब्रिटिश की इन दो कम्युनिटीज को करीब लेकर आए so that was the second thing that we need to add over here which basically become the reason of these two communities or these two political parties to become closer to each other aur jo aakhri cheez hame yahan pe add karni hai that would be the setting up of a joint council ke in dono political parties ne decide kiya that they would create or set up a joint council and then decided to cooperate with each other to somehow create a friendship or the feeling of uh, a cooperation so that they could collectively put pressure on the british ye cheez hai hame jo second paragraph ke andar add karni hai agar hum teen points ko elaborate karte hain properly so that would be it for your second paragraph so let's move now towards the last and the third paragraph of our question
So viewers, uh, let's see the third and the last paragraph of this seven mark question that what exactly we need to write in this paragraph. As we have already discussed the two reasons earlier, just may say pehli reason hum logo ne dekhi thi, the, uh, the change in the policy of the ML which is basically being convinced by Jinnah. Is may be hum logo ne jo hai, wo third paragraph ke andar, we need to discuss about the contribution of uh, Jinnah basically as he was a person who was the main figurehead to create this agreement or the major personality who brought these two communities closer to each other. So we need to start up with the first content that Jinnah was a major person or the main figurehead in signing up of this Lucknow Pact in 1916. Uske baad, another thing that you need to write over here just because that his contribution was there and he was the one who was basically in the favor of the Hindu Muslim unity and he brought these two communi communities closer to each other. So he was being given the title of ambassador of peace by Gopal Krishna Gokhale. It was mainly because of the efforts of Jinnah that this pact was signed. Uske lava jo aur cheeze is paragraph ke andar humne conclusively mention karni hai ke jo ye session tha once it was being decided so a joint session was basically called in Lucknow. Ye cheez hum yaha pe add karenge. Uske baad the acceptance of the Muslims demand by INC that we have already discussed in the FOMA question as well ke INC ne for the first time Muslims ki demands ko accept kiya tha jo ke joint ek to separate electorate ki demand thi uske alawa one third seats in the council jisko unho ne Simon Commission ke andar sorry Simla Deputation ke andar unho ne reject kar diya tha undemocratic kya ke to us demand ko accept kiya gaya uske saath saath we'll add up the last thing over here that was the common demands by these two political parties which was put forward in front of British. Wo bhi humne four mark question ke saath earlier discuss ki hai. That was the seats in the council, uske lava the rights of minorities and the third one we had the provincial autonomy. So this is something that we need to add over here in the third paragraph. Ye paragraph mainly Jinnah ke contribution se related hai. So let's review one more time that ke pehla content tha jis mein jo hai wo ML ki policy ko change kiya gaya by Jinnah 1913 mein unhone jab ML ko join kiya. Dusra jo humne mention kiya hai that was oppressive policies of British jo major reason bani in dono political parties ko kareeb lane mein to bring them closer. Or tisra the major major figurehead that was Jinnah jin ki wajah se ye mumkin hua that this pact was signed in 1916 and for the first and the last time these two political parties they basically uh, became closer to each other worked together to put pressure on the British. Well that's it for today's video. I hope that ke aap logon ko jo hai wo dono questions properly clarify hoi hai. Inshallah I'll be coming with the next video once again uh, with a new topic inshallah. Until then please kindly don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, do like the video and please kindly do give your comments in the comment box that aapko ye video kaisi lagi. Inshallah we'll be coming with another video of our history topic as we are moving as per the timeline. So we'll see you each, uh, again next time inshallah. Until then take care of yourself. Khuda Hafiz.